Hello friends, today we have a very special item that we are unboxing today. Nothing that you can possibly buy on Amazon or eBay. Ha! This is right here, no joke, okay? This is the gold medal for the SEA Games in Malaysia 2017. Oh, wow. There's a little bit of a wooden finish over here. Then after that, I rest everything here is all gold. This is the front of the medal. Okay, obviously, uh, you have the logo of the SEA Games and you have the Kuala Lumpur 2017 logo over there. And I'm just gonna flip this over. 29th SEA Games. Figure skating. Men's individual. Gold. So you're probably wondering, who did I steal this medal from? Nah, I just wanna do this now, you know, I've always wanted to. bring in the official person or the rightful owner of this medal over here. So ladies and gentlemen, we have the rightful owner of the gold medal over here. Please introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Julian Yi, the rightful owner of this medal. Can I ask how old are you? Uh, 20 years young. You're 20 years young? How a, does a 20 year old win something this very, okay, uh, you know what, let me just give it back to you. This is a very funny story. So Julian over here, this is not the first time that we are meeting. Um, the first time I met Julian was when I was actually on a flight back from uh, New York. And uh, we were actually in transit in Dubai. Dubai, yeah, yeah. And I said, what do you do? And he told me, oh, uh, I'm actually uh, training to be a national skater. Yeah. Am I, am I saying it I, right? Yeah, no, actually we met like, I think I asked him for a picture. Mm -hmm. You know, like... You tell yeah. somebody a gold medalist is coming up to me for a picture, I can guy, die! Famous, I you can know. die now! I took a picture with him, and then after that, I'm like, okay, like, I better don't catch up this for, you know, let him rest, because I think he was really, really tired. I just left to clear the air. A lot of people think that I don't have this approachable face, because I have this thing called the... Uh, the, the RBF. Wrestling bitch face is real and men do it too. The difference is when women do it, we say it's wrestling bitch face, and when men do it, it's just every movie poster. <laughs> Look, wrestling bitch face. Wrestling bitch face. Look at that. We were in the transit bus going to the plane and we were this close. Like, like, like this close. Uh, I have to stop. My nose is leaking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the transit bus was basically yeah. ferrying you to the, the plane, lah, okay? Yeah. And we were this close. We were super close. Yeah. And, then, and, then and I was like, so, uh, Julian, tell me what you do. I ice skate. I'm oh, no, a figure skater. Oh, you, you ice skate for the country? Wow, that's yeah. so interesting. It was, it was like, like really like that. No, How do really I smell? Uh, at that time, I can't remember. Okay. You, you now, now you're not too bad, lah. You smell like a champion. <laughs> first things first, before I even ask more questions, when do you start skating? I started when I was four. You know when I was four years old, you know what I was doing? Nothing. I was... <laughs> At what age did you actually decide to do this competitively? My first competition was five years old. Throughout your journey, uh, I'm assuming that it hasn't been a very uh, like, you know, easy journey. So tell us how... Tell us your journey to this gold medal over here. It sort of started off because I was really young. I was five, I didn't know what I was doing. And then I just started skating more and more and more. We finally got our membership to compete overseas. Like, and that was the first time I went out and I saw so many other competitors out there that were really, really good. And then here I was, just a kampong hero. And I think that was why it, it kept me going until uh, where I am now. Mm -hmm. When you told your parents you wanted to compete competitively, how were your parents? What were your parents' reactions back then? They were the ones that guided me throughout this path. You know, mm -hmm. like, okay, they're, they're very, very supportive. But like I said, before I went out for all these competitions, I was really, really contemplating on quitting because it took up so much time and to sacrifice so many things. But then I think after some, some deep thoughts, I figured that I think I've really been skating for so long, so just continue. Oh, wow. Don't waste it, you know. Okay, so, uh, well, you were full back here for the uh, SEA Games. And what was it like standing on the podium, you know, representing your country and winning gold for your country and everybody was like ah! This competition itself was really, really amazing because of all the crowd. It was like full and I think that was really what they gave me the energy. So how many girls actually uh, DM'd you on your Instagram account? Because I know your Instagram account suddenly exploded. I haven't seen much of my DMs because it has been like just 
Adding on it, adding on it, adding on. Oh wow! So you you're trying to tell me that you're too famous to even check your DMs right now, huh? No, no, no. Like for me, I want to be fair. You know, if I reply one, I have to reply all. Okay, so so mm. I need to find the time to reply all. And, so know, why didn't you reply my my DM when I yeah. sent you congratulations? Uh, because right, because it's a signal boss. Because so, okay, <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. There is this thing called the Winter Olympics that's actually coming up. I hear from a very reliable source that you're actually working your way up to the Winter Olympics. And what is needed to get there? What is needed to get there is my next competition, which is end of this month in mm -hmm. Germany. Uh, there's only six spots left for the Olympics. For six spots, skating. okay. Six, six spots. So uh, basically what I have to do is come in top six and I'm hoping okay. to get one of that. Malaysia, boleh kita juara bangkit bersama. I've been told to say this a lot of times <laughs> from Sea Games. So when I when I had a conversation with Junior over here on on what like transport, I was so inspired because you know in that conversation, I remember him telling me that uh, I I understand that you know ice skating is not really a recognized sport in Malaysia, but you mean uh, for me is I'm doing what I can because I actually love and enjoy doing it. It, it struck a chord with me. Because it's the same as what I did for YouTube. Nobody could see it. I mean, for me, it's, I enjoyed making videos and he enjoyed skating. But you know what? I mean, like on behalf of everyone here in, in, in the company, and of course, you know, the only reason why we got in touch with you and how we got in touch is because your brother actually works for our company. It's, you know, what a small world. I'd like to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you're, you truly, so you're truly an inspiration to a lot of people. So Julian, this is my salute to you. And Thank you so much. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, support Julian. Any form of support will be able to help this young individual achieve his goals. And of course, at the end of the day, you know, build a name for the country to be proud of. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you have to wear this. I don't care. But you know, it, it rightfully belongs to you. Please guys, uh, you know, follow him on his, all his social media. We're going to have it in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out our previous videos and make sure you subscribe.